training. The word alone can send even the most enthusiastic of professionals running for cover. But not all training involves a beige conference room and a spread of stale donuts. For some soon-to-be pilots in the U.S. Air Force, the next evolution of training looks like something straight out of Ready Player One. So, up is left, down is right? It's the kind of setup that would also look right at home in a Dave & Buster's. This is nuts. For airmen training to become the Air Force's next generation of helicopter pilots, this augmented reality is the new reality of pilot training. So it's modeled off the TH-1H Huey helicopter, um, and it uses basically a combined virtual and mixed reality environment where students are able to train and actually flip switches and see their hands. The system has been in use by the Air Force for a few years now, and the people involved say the benefits abound. It best replicates the actual operational environment and allows us to provide essentially on-the-job training. We use it in all types of uh, profiles, be it emergency procedures training, instrument training, and then uh, eventually what we're trying to do is get it where we'll have multiple devices that can be paired together and they can fly in formation in the mission environment. Maybe the most obvious advantage, it's a more cost-effective way to get prospective pilots into a seat for meaningful hands-on training. If you think about the normal simulators, um, the big level D motion simulators, you know, those cost a lot of money for the Air Force. If we can have something, you can see it's a very small footprint. Uh, we can put it in, in a student room and students are able to use it and have easy access to it. Uh, that's a big one for the Air Force. That training is also helping graduate student pilots at a faster rate. The first class to put this technology to use graduated a full six weeks ahead of schedule. You know, one of the truly great things about this multi-placed mixed reality trainer is the fact that it combines tactile feel with virtual reality. I have my cyclic, I have my collective, I have my tail rotor pedals, and then when I put on my goggles, I'm fully immersed in a both mixed and virtual reality. Ahead of me, I can see what appears to be the airfield, but I also have all of my equipment right here at my side. And if I wanted to, I could take off. The uh, head-mounted displays, HMDs, uh, have video pass-through with 4K cameras that, and we can distinguish what pixels are looking at the physical environment, what pixels should be fired as a virtual reality, and that allows us to seamlessly mesh the physical environment, physical hands, switches with a virtual reality out the window look view. In 2021, the Air Force overhauled its helicopter training program. Since the early 1990s, helicopter pilots had to complete fixed wing training before moving on to helicopter training. That old requirement is now no longer in place. And the reason behind that is you're focusing on core competencies of being a helicopter pilot. I don't need to teach a helicopter pilot how to go upside down or do anything like that. Fortunately, you know, that would be very bad if he did. So by teaching them how to hover and the operation of flying a helicopter early on, that saves us lots of time, which translates to money overall. So we've really uh, revitalized our pipeline. It's a change, at least in part, the Air Force hopes will lure more prospective pilots to sign on the dotted line. A recent report in the San Antonio Express News detailed the branch's shortfall of 2,000 pilots. It's a problem that's pushing Air Force leaders to get approval for five- and six-figure retention bonuses. While that's not something immediately available, the opportunity to train with the latest technology is. I think this approach is really going to revolutionize aviation training in general. Once we can get to the level where we can get FAA certification, it will create the ability where now pilots don't have to travel to a centralized training facility. We can, because they're lightweight, low cost, we can put this locally and so pilots can get their check rides and simulators in their own neighborhoods, spend more time generating revenue flights, and so we're going to see greater access to training makes better pilots. The technology behind the mixed reality trainer really is something to behold. When I had the chance to experience it at the AFA's Airspace Cyber 2023 conference, it felt so real I actually got a little nauseous and had to go outside for some fresh air. So while I have all the respect in the world for our USAF Hilo pilots, it's a safe bet to say that I will never be one of them.